Shout out to Caressa McKnight for sending me this um, story. If you do not know who this man is, this is Sterling Van Wagenen. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly or not. But he is one of the co-founders of the infamous Sundance Film, Fest Film Festival that is held annually in January every year in Salt Lake City, Utah. Now, this story is very rather poetic because he has recently been charged with sexual abuse. Now, what is some of the biggest things that has come out of Sundance this year? One in particular is that damn Leaving Neverland documentary about Michael Jackson and him allegedly, again, allegedly messing with young boys, in particular, James Safechuck and Wade Robson, which we can pretty much debunk that entire thing now and just say that none of that shit was true. Now, I find it very interesting, too, because not only did that documentary come out of Sundance, but it was another one came out about Harvey Weinstein, but it did not get nearly as much attention as the one involving Michael Jackson. Now, how interesting is it that that documentary was about so-called sexual abuse, alle you know, allegations against Michael Jackson? Then you had the one about Harvey Weinstein, in which we know he's just a straight up creep. And this guy who co-founded the Sundance Film Festival in which both documentaries aired now has sexual abuse charges against him. Let's get into this article coming from The Hollywood Reporter. It says he was charged April 2nd and is now out on a $75,000 bail. I'm not surprised that he's out because he has money. Sterling Van Wagenen, the, who co-founded the Sundance Film Festival, has been charged with felony aggravated sexual abuse. Van Wagenen was charged on the second and he's out on a $75,000 bail. The 71-year-old filmmaker and producer is accused of sexually abusing a child on or about January 1st, 2013 through Jan, I'm sorry, through December 31st, 2015. So we're talking roughly about almost three years. When the child was seven and nine, Van Wagenen co-founded Sunday Film Festival with actor Robert Redford. He was also formerly affiliated with the local nonprofit Salt Lake Film Society. Van Wagenen produced the 1985 film drama The Trip to Bountiful, for which Geraldine Page won an Academy Award for Best Actress. He directed the 1992 film Alan and Naomi. Van Wagenen is scheduled to return to court on May 2nd for a scheduled hearing. A former professor at the University of Utah, Van Wagenen, resigned after allegedly admitting to molesting a minor in 1993. So he has a history. The alleged victim in that case secretly recorded Van Wagenen allegedly admitting to the abuse. Van Wagenen was not arrested nor charged in that instance. So they had on document that this guy did what he did back in the early 90s because the person secretly recorded them and they didn't even charge him then. That lays precedence to what this case is going to be. So I don't expect much to come out of it. If they're not going to get him on something back in the 90s when they had actual recorded proof, then we know they're not going to get him on what's going on now. A spokesman for the Sundance Institute said in a statement to THR, recent reports in the press have made us aware of allegations of sexual abuse by Sterling Van Wagenen, who played a role in founding both the festival and the institute. He has no current connection to either party, I'm sorry, entity, and hasn't since he left our Utah Advisory Board in 1993. Sundance Institute categorically denounces his behavior as described in recent reports, and we stand in solidarity with those who brave enough whose brave truth telling shines light on abusive behavior. But it's still the fact that he's still attached to it in some kind of a way. Even though it seems to me that he's no longer present at any of the events. And I think I was listening to maybe it was Tariq or something like that. It was somebody and his name had came up and they couldn't pronounce his last name either. And I think that's what made this stand out to me. But like I said, it's rather interesting that the guy who co-founded that film festival had that leaving Neverland crap show and air there making it seem like Michael Jackson was this huge monster. And they also had that one with Harvey Weinstein, but they didn't really give it that much press. And this guy was literally doing on um, what they accused Michael Jackson of. Talk about some full circle fuckery. But 
like the early 90s with this guy i don't expect anything really to come out of this but now people can see that this guy is just a old tacky filthy perv at least that now we know y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments and i will talk to you in the next one